I'm Lieutenant Colonel Roland Butler. As Chief of the Field Operations Bureau of the Maryland State Police, it is my honor to introduce two of Maryland's finest who are being recognized in St. Mary's County for their dedication to duty. These are troopers who lead by example. Congratulations, not just to our state troopers for the work they do, but to all first responders who dedicate their lives to serving and protecting the citizens of the state of Maryland. Law enforcement plays a critical role in the communities we serve, and we thank you, the citizens of St. Mary's County, for taking the time to recognize our efforts. Hello, my name is Sergeant Wiseman. I'm with the Maryland State Police. I've been in law enforcement for approximately 14 years, and it was my honor this year to nominate Trooper Engelman for the Larentown Bear Trooper of the Year. And shortly after me nominating him, he was selected for Trooper of the Year for Larentown Bear. A few reasons why I nominated him and he was selected was that he put an emphasis on community service this year, or last year in 2021. He attended eight community events, ranging from fundraisers. Um, he did shop with a cop two times, one in the Christmas time and one back to school time. And he also did a lot of recruiting events. Mm -hmm. Another extremely impressive thing that he achieved in 2021 was he led the state, uh, the Maryland State Police, in total traffic stops conducted. He also were, worked in Lexington Park a lot, and he uh, seized three guns off the road. Um, which made a huge difference in uh, Lexington Park that prevent the gun violence that's been so rampant in Lexington Park last year. And the final proactive uh, police work that he did for uh, 2021 was he arrested the third most DUIs in the entire county for St. Mary's County this year, in 2021. Besides his proactive police work, he also received training in advanced collision uh, investigations. This is when like a serious or fatal accident occurs. And he responded throughout the state four times throughout 2021, completing those detailed investigations, helping ensure that the at-fault driver received the proper charges. And additionally, he's received training in uh, field training for brand new troopers that came on the road. And in 2021, he assisted in field training two brand new troopers and uh, showed them uh, the excellence that he's achieved so far. In conclusion, Trooper Ingman was awarded uh, Trooper of the Year for Leonard Tumberg because of his excellent with community service and serving the community with his proactive police work in traffic, uh, DUI enforcement, and his criminal investigations, seizing firearms, also. Hi, I'm Trooper John Engman with the Maryland State Police. I've been with the State Police for a little over two and a half years. So what got me interested in a career in law enforcement is just growing up around it. I, my uh, family had friends that were cops, um, and it also came down to a school project that I remember in the seventh grade. We had to pick a college um, and a career to study, and I chose law enforcement or, or criminal justice rather at the time. So then is when it really set in as my seventh grade. So it's just something I've always wanted to do. What I like most about serving with the Maryland State Police is just the endless career opportunities. When you start out, you start on the road. As your years of service and experience progress, you have the opportunity to promote or you can move into specialized units, and you can get the chance to move around the state and experience something different. The most rewarding part of serving in this capacity is just being able to do something different every day, uh, either changing someone's day or uh, helping them out when they're in their worst is the best thing we can do. Just a message for everybody else in law enforcement is just keep safe out there and make sure you make it home. My name is Jeff Kelly. I'm a corporal with the Maryland State Police. And I was happy to nominate Trooper Andrew Hartline for Officer of the Year this year. Andrew has proven himself to be a reliable and effective trooper, uh, where he works as a rescue technician at the Southern Maryland section of the Maryland State Police Aviation Command. Andrew, uh, on top of his regular duties, has several collateral duties through, uh, with which he assists the section. He is the maintainer and the asset maintainer of our night vision goggles, which leads him to uh, learn about something that he would otherwise have no idea about. He's done his own research and learned how to troubleshoot the goggles. He also works with our supply, uh, with our supply chain up at our headquarters to make sure that we have our goggles 
so we can fly safely at night. Halfway through the year last year, Andrew took over as the medical supply officer and asset manager. So part of that role is making sure that uh, our helicopter is stocked with all of the equipment that we need to effectively do, do our jobs. It requires a lot of proactive uh, leaning forward to make sure that the high demand supplies are always available, even over the weekends and, and during the holidays. And it requires a, a weekly uh, status update that he needs to do to make sure that we're still on par. One of the things that's especially great about Andrew is his flexibility. He is great about changes with scheduling. He understands our mission. He understands how important it is uh, that, that we have our ships covered. And he's great about being able to switch ships around, even with little, uh, with little notice. And that's especially important because he lives two hours away up north of Baltimore. So despite that, he's still uh, flexible enough and understands the importance of the job that he makes it down this way. So due to his reliability, his flexibility, and his effectiveness at doing his job both on the helicopter and here at the hangar, I was happy to nominate Andrew for officer of the year. My name is Trooper Andrew Hartline. I'm a flight paramedic with the Maryland State Police. I've been with the Maryland State Police for almost three years now. What interested me in law enforcement was being able to directly help people and give back to the community. What I like most about serving with Aviation Command is how varied our mission profile is. We don't just fly medevacs, we also fly law enforcement and search and rescue missions. I have to thank my friends and family, my coworkers, and my wife, Maddie. Uh, without them, I wouldn't be here today. Mm -hmm.